what does a Nikkor lens and these crystals have in common? Let's find out. Hello everyone, Carl Mike from New York here, photographer in Manhattan since the 1970s. This is photo class number 380. We're going to discuss today art photography in a way that maybe you've never even thought of. So, we're going to take this Nikkor autofocus 50 millimeter 1.4 lens. It's a real dream of a lens, let me tell you. Look at the front element. Look at how gorgeous this lens is. So, what I want to do today is I want to take these beads. These are uh, from Amazon, not a sponsor, it's just an experiment. I want to see if we can create a filter with these beads and let's see what it does with the bouquet and how it affects a portrait that we're going to look at the uh, photographs that it's going to take in this video. So first thing is we're going to make a filter with these beads on it. So the equipment that we're going to need is this K and F UV filter, 52 millimeters. Okay. And we're going to need some, uh, this is super glue gel. Uh, it's gorilla glue. Now the reason I like the gel is so it won't, it won't, uh, get runny. It won't run. It'll just stay right where you put it. A pair of tweezers and the uh, little gel. What are they called? Crystal beads. Eight millimeter. Multicolored. And there's supposed to be 600 of them. Why did I pick this lens? Because I feel most people have a 50 millimeter lens and 52 millimeter lens filter is very, very common. So the beads were about $8 and the k &F UV filter was around nine. Okay, so if this doesn't work out, I'm not out a lot of money. <laughs> Is I want to leave the uh, center of the filter open. In other words, I'll put any of these beads in the middle. So if I do a portrait, the person's face uh, won't be ruined by the beads. Right now, also, I want to point out that these beads are multi shaped. Uh, there's some square, some round, some oval. The sizes they're not all one size, they're multi sized from very tiny to big. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do um, all, all the shapes and all the sizes. Some filters out there uh, are called prism filters or kaleidoscope filters, and uh, some of them are pretty expensive. And 
we're going to break now and come right back with the photographs I took with this homemade kaleidoscope filter. Stand by. 